guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty strategically placed today. Both of the projects that I wanted to share with you in this video ended up only about halfway done. There were quite a few issues and technical difficulties and stuff like that that I ran into, so I decided that both of them deserve their own videos. So this coming Friday, you will be getting the Framing the Closet video, and the Friday after that will be the Painted Headboard video. This video was supposed to be a bonus project in the video with the two of them, but I decided to share it as its own video because it's the only one that ended up finished this week. So here is my upcycled shoe rack. outside today for a little bonus project for you. I found this on the side of the road. It is a little wobbly so I'm going to take it apart and I don't really like the finish of it so I'm also going to sand it down, try to get rid of whatever color this is, get it down to raw wood and then I'm going to try something new. I saw another YouTuber do it so I'm just going to try to imitate what she did. Hopefully it turns out good. Um, also, also there is a broken dowel here, so I'm going to make a run up to Home Depot or Lowe's or something to find a replacement once I figure out exactly the diameter of these dowels. Off we go! The technique that I want to use on this shoe rack, here's the rods and the edge uh, end pieces are over there. All I'm going to do is take this paint, which is just left over from when I painted the headboard, um, and add some water to it and thin it out, make it a, a little less opaque. At first I'm going to do a one to one ratio. So I have just under 100 milliliters of paint. So I'm going to add a splash more just so I get an even hundred. That's about a hundred milliliters. So I'm going to go add a hundred milliliters of water now. Okay, so we've got paint and water. I'm just going to mix that together and see what we get. I'm going to use the broken piece as a little tester so I don't have to ruin the rest of it. All I'm using is a cheapo washcloth from Walmart. I like it. I want more color though, so I'm gonna add some more paint. Alright, let it dry a little bit. Maybe it'll keep a little bit more of the color. Or maybe I can do two coats. Okay. I think two coats will do. So my final measurements ended up being 200 milliliters of paint to 100 milliliters of water. So I had a lot left over. My final application process was to dip the washcloth into the paint and wipe it onto each piece. Let it dry for just a minute and then wipe away the extra paint with a clean washcloth. I then let them dry completely and repeated that process of wiping on paint, letting it dry for a minute, and then wiping away the extra with a clean washcloth. All right, we're back the next day. All of these pieces are dry. I'm gonna put it back together and then I will show you the final product fill it with all my shoes. I still don't think it'll be big enough so I think I'll have to uh, get rid of a couple pairs of shoes or just get a bigger shoe rack. Probably just get a bigger shoe rack. 
<laughs> we'll figure out how to do it. And put these in first. Okay, I know. I know. And now I remember that I was supposed to get a replacement dowel, which I did not do. So I forgot to do a before shot, so I set up a dramatization for you of my huge pile of shoes. And now is the after shot, completely organized with no shoes piled up anywhere. Alright, there we go. I love how it turned out. I think it's fine size-wise, so I don't think I'll need a bigger shoe rack. I do have a few tips to share with you that I learned while doing this project. The first tip would be to sand more than you think you need to. The end pieces I sanded a lot more because they were the first ones that I did so I wasn't nearly as tired. So by the time that I got to the dowels I was exhausted. So I did not sand them nearly as much as I probably needed to. The second tip is to do with the number of coats of paint. I would suggest letting the first coat dry before you decide if you're going to do a second coat or not. So this project only cost me $2.48 to finish and that was for the replacement dowel. I'm Coming up next week, like I said before, is the framing of the closet and the week after that will be the painted headboard. Thanks for tuning in to my second episode of my bedroom makeover and I will see you next week. I've had this thing for years, probably since high school, and I just now realized it extends. <laughs>